I gotta be within 16 blocks to spawn the skeletons. Magma? The magma blocks, you think? Okay. Or... I could stand... So here, I got an idea. Let me, let me draw it out on paint real quick. So let's say, let's say this is the dimension of the spawner. Okay. So the spawner's here. And, and in here, in here is where the, where the skeleton spawner is. Okay. So what I can do is I can position myself on a platform that is about eight blocks down and about six blocks out and then have an opening here where the skeletons come to that have trap doors. And when they walk over, they drop to a gravity fed kill and then they can die here and then we'll have chests underneath to collect the stuff. 10? What do you mean 10? All the hypotenuse is 10. Yeah. So we could we could like stand right here. They'll they'll come get me, fall, and die. And then it'll be an AFK farm for bones. And uh the gear. But bones will be the big thing. And I can have it auto sort. So I can have redstone on them and they can auto sort. I like that idea. Let's save it. Uh, save it as desktop. Skelly farm uh, from spawn concept. Done. Oops. You and your damn auto sorters. Hey, the bone's the most important thing. Everything else can be spit into a cactus. So we'll have it sort bones only and everything else will go... And spit into a cactus and despawn. Easy clap. Do do skeletons drop anything else that's meaningful? I don't, I don't think so, right? Just just enchanted bows and and gear. Oh arrows. Oh, you know what? We don't need arrows either. Come on. How the hell did you get here? Did you come out of there? You died really quick. Yeah, I guess you came out of there. I don't need uh, arrows with infinity. But if I had infinite arrows, I could take mending instead and just keep a stack on me all the time. And just have a shulker box with, with a couple stacks of arrows as backup. Because that's the biggest pain in the butt about not having infinity is that you got to deal with arrows all the time. Imagine putting Mendy on a bow. I know, right? You mean, you mean pumpkins, TJ. Well, yeah, I've put Mendy on a bow before. Like, if I don't have to worry about feathers and stuff, I should be fine. Hey, TJ, your face is a pumpkin. Got him. Hi, Julian. How are you? Welcome in. Imagine messing up in a joke. Well, half name, in order for you to mess up a joke, you got to tell a joke first. Ha! Got him. Let's go. Let's go. I'm on fire right now. You have a gift for me. All right, Julian, go for it. Wait, I'm missing a shulker box. Julian! I see it right there. It hasn't hit yet. Right there. 
with the enlistment and the armament, my friend. Enjoy your ad-free viewing, your sandy emotes, and your sword. Uh, guys, I've lost a shulker. Oh, no, I don't. I didn't lose a shulker. Everything's fine. I didn't lose a shulker. I'm just, I'm just an idiot. Julian, I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. All right. Crisis averted. Everything's fine. That's not stone in the last position in the hot bar. No, it's a light gray shulker. Bye, Julian. Have fun. That's cool. That's cool. I'm going to drop off some stuff here in a minute. If I cut this line, we'll, we'll get the one packed. Uh, no, not that one. This one. So, boom, 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 boom. I just admitted he was funny. He's funny looking. Let's see. We're good there. Everything's good there. No, TJ, I, I didn't. I, I never said that you were you you weren't funny. Just me then, yeah, just you have to, I'm sorry. Jass off of work, you guys. She's partying like it's nineteen ninety nine. Did you're off of work finally. So you're rocking out when, when you clock out. Are you doing sticker stuff? Ooh. Imagine partying in diapers. Imagine not getting the reference. <laughs> no, TJ, no. Playing Minecraft right now? Nice. You know the reference? Okay. How about how about partying like it's on sale for nineteen ninety nine, TJ? Do you get that reference? That I just made up? All right, all right. I just made it up, you guys. So anywho, back to Minecraft. I'm going to party like it's on sale for nineteen ninety nine. I do hate you, am I am? Just just for you, my friend. You should have seen the other heinous things I did today. I know you don't, but at the same time I didn't make it up. But that song 1999 
by Prince is older than that Simpsons episode. So are you just some weird time traveler or... You're older than TJ. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a cougar, Hafnium. I mean, let's go. No! All right, go for it. What's your funny story? You're older than TJ, too? You are, Dark Crystal. Okay, Super Cat's older than all of us. She's just a time traveler. You've had two different people try to set me up on dates this week. Oh, yeah? They're starting to sense your tension, too. They're like, this girl needs to get, <laughs> this girl needs to go on a date. Any of them good prospects, Hafnium? Do they, do they look like Rick Moranis? We love you, Super Cat. She was, he was standing there like, please. Nice. Was he, was he cute, Half Neum? Not to you, no. I gotcha, I gotcha. Afnium's gonna find somebody and start dating them and find out that they're like the brother of a teacher that she's good friends with at the school. And it's gonna shatter her whole world. Hi, Yodaman. How are you, bud? Welcome in. Your teacher bestie is 60. Please go on. So they could have a brother that's like 30. even 35.
got one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're in Wisconsin. I'm sure you can find a dairy farmer that just fits the bill. Oh, man, is Raris still here? Speaking of old people with one foot in the grave. We saw his brother yesterday. Me and Jaff did. I just now looked at my pickaxe for the first time. I gotta keep tabs on it. Oh, Hapnium. I didn't say you weren't funny. All I did say was that you don't tell jokes. There's a difference. You are very funny. See, so you're getting hurt for the wrong reason. Please complete this brother joke. What brother joke? Who are you talking to? Oh, no, no I, I, need, I need rarest here for that. I need rarest here. He's not here. Carlo Berg, she says that, but Pennsylvania has mountains in it. Just gonna leave that there. Because where there's mountains, there's people that are bored and don't want to go into town. And when they don't go into town, they go to town on each other. so confused don't worry you drove through you ruined people's crops rude look at this she's a vandal you guys I'm dating a vandal No regard for for cattle. Well, I hope you were just 15 years old once. Otherwise, we'd have to have a weird talk. You stole a car once, Carlo Berg? No way. that then that then that okay you borrowed your friend's car from your I'll borrow the keys from your friend's grandmother I gotcha look at that half names committing felonies what is your go-to fast food soda? Ugh. 
I mean, sweet tea is going to be my go-to. But um, if I'm being good, I'll get a diet or a zero of something. Coke zero or diet Coke, if I'm being good. But, but down here in the south, dude, sweet tea is the way to go. You probably don't have that much up there where you are. Down in Florida and up north where I go, it's always raspberry sweet tea or, or unsweet tea. And it's just like, yeah. You're not a fan of sweet tea? To each their own. I'm 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 probably gonna buy some tea bags tomorrow and make a pitcher of sweet tea for here at the house. That way I can have tea on standby. But I have to keep Jaff from drinking it because she said she would drink it all. Yeah, TJ, exactly. What did I say? Nothing. I said I'm gonna go buy some tea bags and make some sweet tea for tomorrow, but you're you're not allowed to drink it all because you said you would drink it all. So I gotta keep you away from it. Go for it. <laughs> type type that in chat, Kappa. Don't type that in chat. You'll be here all night. Awesome, TJ. I appreciate you being here. Cause you're you're a stand-up comedian, TJ. You'll be here all night. You got there eventually. <clears throat> You don't know that, Carlo Bird. He's at his apartment. He doesn't have very many places to sit. It could be the laptop on the counter and he's just walking around prepping dinner or something. Oh, he's sitting down. Never mind. Oh, that's right. You had the you had the misordered sandwich. the computer chair from home when I went two weekends ago and I used that with the folding table I bought. Oh, nice. So you're hooked up. Who are you talking about, Carlo? Shower orange or shower beer? I'm sorry? Hi, Viscous. Welcome in. How close to a big bear hole are you? Uh, very, very far. But closer than we have been. Come on in, Viscous. Hope you're having a good day, bud. Thanks for being here. We're, we're not even 25% complete, Viscous. We're like maybe 10 to 12. But what was it going to do to eat the orange while you're showering? Don't do any, uh, don't do any of the weird Swedish things he tells you to do. <laughs> 
They they bury a shark underground and wait for it to ferment and they eat it. They can't be trusted. That's Iceland. Whatever, you bury you still bury shit underground and eat it. Iceland's the shark, but you guys have to stomach, don't you? Isn't that what it's called? We do. Yeah, see, it's still it's still the same thing. It's just not a shark, Carlo Bird. They still can't be trusted. Do you eat Sustromig, Carlo Berg? Well, I don't know how to say it, dude. <laughs> I just know how, roughly how it's spelled. It's not done in the ground anymore. Oh, okay. But that's how Mama used to make it, though, right? You don't eat it? Why not? You know, Carlo Berg, I've seen videos on the internet of people trying to eat it. And when they crack the can, juice squirts out and they all start puking. That's pretty much the extent of the video. Of most videos. You don't like it? I gotcha. You open it underwater? Oh, really? Good to know. That's interesting. I couldn't even imagine. Probably tastes just like the jelly bean. Also, Carlo Berg, and I, I know this isn't where you live, but what's the what's the half-born bird in an egg that people eat? Balut. That's what it is. <laughs> 